Hey guys and welcome to this week's tutorial. This is a beginner's tutorial. You can watch it till the end. You can watch my entire process. You can repeat what I'm doing and then you can exercise uh, your animation skills. You don't have to be a designer in order to animate this. Uh, it's a super simple animation that you can complete in a few simple steps. So let's get started. <music> So the first step is to download the free vector file from FreePick. Um, I'm going to leave the link to this uh, illustration down in the description below. The, your first step is to download these uh, vector files. You can open this file um, in Illustrator. We will be animating this cat. Also the, uh, the glasses and the bow. I'm going to click on the group and then here from the hamburger menu, click release to layers sequence. I would like to select all these elements that are part of the glasses. So I'm going to click on one element and hold shift and then I'm gonna start so like I'm gonna need this one this 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 and there are a few layers here so when I'm ready with my selection right click group and uh, let's hide it and hide it uh, okay yeah great now I'm gonna do the same thing with the bow I'm gonna click on one element here I'm gonna uh, hold shift click on this one this one and this one I don't know if that one got selected but we're gonna see in a minute right click group and yes okay great so as you can see there are a bunch of layers here uh, because uh, because of the other um, cat illustrations that we have here so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna click on layer one um, then we're gonna click on this little icon here to create a new layer now if I select uh, this cat you're gonna see that there is one little um, blue square over here uh, and I can just hold that and drop it here great so now my cat is on this layer. I'm going to repeat the same process, create a new layer. Then I'm going to go here, select the bow, hold the little square and drop it here. And uh, same for the glasses. Create a new layer, hold the little square, drop it here. Since uh, our cat will be blinking, we'll need to make sure the eyes are on a separate layer. So click on the group here, hum the hamburger menu, release two layers sequence. Now find the eyes. I believe uh, it's these two layers. Uh, let me check. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to select these and I'm going to bring them up here. So now let's save the file. Control Shift and S. When you save the file, make sure um, you click on save like here in this option save as type make sure it's adobe illustrator and not uh pdf uh, eps or cvg so uh now it's time to import our cat so uh, right click here import file and find your file okay so here is mine cat tutorial one import as make sure it's composition retain layer sizes and click import when you do that you're going to see your composition with all of the cats i'm gonna click on uh, this last layer, uh, it's named layer one. In my case, I'm going to delete it. Uh, I'm going to now select these two elements, the glasses and the bow, and I'm going to move them. Make sure these two layers are uh, at the top, like the top of the other layers. Let's name these layers. I'm going to click on one layer, click enter, and that would be the bow. That would be the glasses. I'm going to click enter. That's the, that's the eye. You can see it from the glasses, but that's the eye and then that's the eye and then that's the head so i'm gonna name that head next make sure you select all the layers by clicking Control a and then clicking on this little icon here so that we can make sure if we zoom in or zoom out there are no problems with rasterization or pixelization i would like to parent all these layers to the head what this does is if i move the head around all the layers that are connected to the head would move with the head and i'm gonna scale it by holding shift so i can make sure i'm making a proportionate scale now click ctrl y to create a new solid layer um yeah let's leave it white and i'm gonna bring it down here now i'm gonna lock it because we won't really need this there so let's get the animation started now um the first thing i'm noticing is that this composition is 15 seconds this is a bit too long i would like to make it five seconds so i'm gonna move my marker here click n and right click here and click trim comb to work area and now i would like to hide my glasses and the bow for now i would like to just have the eyes and the head 
So uh, the first thing would be to animate the eyes. I'm going to click on one, one of the eyes, uh, hold control, click on the uh, other eye, and I'm going to click S so I can bring up the scale properties. Let's add the first keyframe. So that's our first original position. And I'm going to zoom in in my timeline and I'm going to move two frames. So notice here I moved two frames and I am going to click on this little icon here um, because like if I don't have this clicked and I change the scale, it's going to scale uh, up or down proportionately and I don't need that now. So let's click on this layer. Then here, change this to five, then move two frames after Create another keyframe by clicking on this icon, not this one, because if you click on this one, you uh, remove all the other keyframes. Then again, move two frames after that. So that's in my case, that's frame six and change that to 100 again. The animation of the glasses will start here. Uh, these are my gla glasses. So click on this icon so you can see them. Click P on your keyboard and add a keyframe because we'll be adding keyframes for the position and also for the rotation. So click R and add another keyframe. Now click U so that you can see only the keyframes that you have. Next, I'm gonna select these two keyframes and click F9 to easy ease them. We just added keyframes for the position and the rotation. In my case, this is at the ninth frame. So now let's go to about frame 17 and let's add two more keyframes. Remember, that's the start of the animation and that's the end of the animation. So in our case, uh, this is the end position of the glasses. That's why we're going to keep these two keyframes the same, but we're going to change the first keyframes. And I'm going to click on the glasses and hold shift and move them. Um, I think up here, up here is fine. And let's click the, sp the space bar so we can see what's going on. Uh, okay, I think this motion is good. And now it's time to add the rotation. Now for the rotation, I'd like to start with minus six. That's the starting position. And if we play this animation now, it looks a bit dull. So uh, I would like to add one more keyframe like in between shots some, somewhere around here. Uh, let's make that four. And then the final position will be zero. So let's see how that looks. Okay, cool, cool. I want to change like the velocity of these two keyframes. I'm going to click on position and then I'm going to click on this icon here. This is the graph editor. Great. So uh, this is how the keyframes move now. Why don't we just make some changes here? I'm going to click on this little dot and I'm going to hold shift and move this, I think, around here. Now, again, let's do the same thing with this other arrow. So let's see how this looks. Okay. So do you see what's going on here? So the animation starts uh, a bit slow, then goes fast and then slow again. Now this is way, way, way better. If we don't cut this layer of the glasses, uh, we're going to just uh, see them randomly just staying like here on top of the screen, which is a bit weird. So just hold uh, this frame, hold this layer and uh, just make it start here. Roughly. OK, actually, just a bit more. Okay, amazing. Okay, great. Okay, I think this looks good now. So now let's animate the bow. I'm going to unhide it. So here is our bow. And again, let's click S, add a keyframe, F9 to easy ease it, and move it to the 25th frame. 25th is fine. And then go to, uh, I would say, uh, frame 19 and make the scale zero. Uh, let's hit the space bar so we can see how this looks. Okay, great. Actually, let's make it slower. Move this keyframe to the 28th frame. Let's see how this looks now. Okay, good. So now let's add some rotation to this as well. Click R, add a keyframe, click U so you can see all the keyframes. Easy, easy. And then here at the start, make it, I would say, minus nine minus nine, then here, make it five. And then uh, I would say one second, four frames, make it zero. And we'll probably need to add one in between rotation keyframe as well, but let's see how this looks now. Okay, great. Yeah, I would like to add one more keyframe here. Uh, so uh, the keyframe, so the rotation is five here. So why don't we make it minus minus 10 minus 10 here and let's see how this looks now okay great 
amazing. Uh, now let's open up the scale. So let's click on scale and open the graph editor again. And let's make some adjustments to this graph again. Uh, hold this, uh, move it to the right, hold this, move it to the left and let's see how this looks. Okay. Okay. Do you see the difference? There is like the motion is way, way, way smaller. The last thing we are going to do here would be to add the boiling effect. So if I go back to the original animation, there is this boiling effect that makes it um, look like a traditional animation, which is super, super cool. And uh, obviously this is not a traditional animation, it's an animation in After Effects, but there is a way we can achieve the same effect in After Effects. Um, let me actually show you without the effect. So it's a bit static and not that interesting. And I think like the style here gives us the freedom to add this boiling effect. So let's go back to our composition and we are going to create an adjustment layer where from where we can add the effects. So um, click here, layer, new, and then we have adjustment layer or you can also click control out and Y. Here's our adjustment layer. Now in your effects panel, search for turbulence, turbulence displays and add it here. Now we're going to make some adjustments to these settings. Change the amount to 10, change the size to 15. And by the way, you can play around with these settings. These are the settings that I like based on this animation that we have now. But if you want, you can you can uh, make some changes or change the amount or the size. Expand this evolution options. And you're going to see the random seat uh, option. Uh, we're going to add a little expression here so we can we can have the boiling effect uh, because if we play that now you won't see any difference. Here hold out and click on the stopwatch. This would open this panel here from where you can add the expression and here type time asterisk 100 and click enter. So if we play it now, uh, it's a bit too much. Um, so it's just flickering a lot. So I'm gonna change the 100 part to be 10. And let's see how this looks. I think this looks way better. And as I mentioned, you can play around with these settings until you're happy with the way your animation looks. I'm really happy with the way it looks now. And I really hope that tutorial was helpful. Again, that was a beginner's tutorial. If you're just starting out with After Effects, you can also follow my YouTube channel. Stay tuned and I'm gonna see you guys very soon.